Hi everybody, my name's Dave Whipple, and you're watching Bush Radical. Beautiful spring day in March. It's nothing better than to be outside working in the yard. Today what we're going to do is we are going to do a little resto on this guy. This is an old plum permabond. It's a Dayton pattern head. It's in good shape. It's got a little bit of grinder burn on the bit, but not much. I can still see file marks that were there originally, and then there's a little bit of grinder burn just over top of that. And I don't really see any discoloration, so I think we can bring this axe back without taking too much metal off it. Let me show you what we're looking at. There, you can see the very edge of that bit. Little bit of grinder burn to it. Why is that? People, for years and years, they take an axe and run it over a bench grinder. You seem to see that more often than you don't see it. This one's not too bad. This bit is actually pretty close to factory. It hasn't really been ground away too much. Seems like it was probably bought new and somebody hit it with a file a couple times and then they run the stupid thing over a bench grinder. But it doesn't look like they, they put a lot of effort into it. It doesn't look very bad compared to a lot of them I've seen. And we're going to take this guy and we're going to make it healthy and happy again. So hopefully it's not going to be much of a chore to get past any steel that might be burned. Sometimes you'll get an accident. Somebody has just laid it into a bench grinder and it's just molten metal folded over the edge pretty much. And on an axe like that, it's probably not worth your time. But this guy, this guy's not too bad. As a matter of fact, it's pretty good for an axe that's seen a grinder. This one's not too bad. So let's get this thing dialed back in, eh? How about that? That's so much better. It's pretty loud and noisy for a second. I could do this anywhere, but on a day like today, oh, I can't think anywhere else I'd be than right out here in the sunshine. I'm not going to do too much to these corners because generally what I want to do is I like to keep my bits as flat as I can get them. Not that they need to be flat, but I want them as close to flat as possible. They just seem to chop better that way and uh, this is going to be a, a felling axe and a, and a working axe. I'm not going to use it to split with really, so I'm going to want to grind this nice and thin and keep it as flat as I can. bad. Even though this is a real plum permabond and it did come with a red handle, I think somebody painted this handle again because there's red paint up on the head. But you know what? 
I'm just going to leave it. I always kind of like the look of these, these old red handle plums and I'm just going to leave it the way it is. It's all just original patina. And even though I am going to clean that up a little bit, I'm not going to go too far. So I don't really want a, a bright shiny silver head. I kind of like this old patina and I'm going to leave most of it on there. I think this rag is dirtier than this axe head was. So I'm gonna take, touch it up just a little bit with a file. Get that last little bit of edge to it. Should wear gloves, but you know. There's one nick right there I wanna get out. That's about right. Now generally I'd take an axe like this and uh, do a lot of file work, but I did almost all the profiling I'm going to do on that wet grinder. All I'm doing here is just touching up the very edge. As you can see now, that bit is in pretty good shape. I've got all the little nicks and dings out. I've taken the cheeks down a little bit. I've taken all of that burned metal I don't know how bad it was, but anything that was, anything that had obvious grinder marks on it, I've taken that all off, smoothed this all out, and to keep a little bit of nice round to it. It's not every day you run across the perfect axe. You know, a, a nice true temper jersey on a original handle. Those deals seem to be harder to come across all the time. So even an axe like this, although it's not, it's not the greatest axe ever, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's just fine. Oh yeah, that's about good. There you go. No more grinder burn, no more nicks, no more chips. Just a nice, fresh, new bit. Let's go chop something. So there you have it, a quick little restoration project on a plum permabond Dayton pattern with bevels. Not the most sought after axe, not the most collectible axe, but a good axe. And this axe uh, just needed a little bit of love, needed somebody to, uh, to dial it back in just a little bit, and I think it's going to be a great axe. Feels good in the hand, good handle, it was cheap, what's not to love? Thank you guys so much for watching Bush Radical. My name's Dave Whipple. Be radical, eh? See you soon.